So before moving on to the main topic, please subscribe to this channel and like this video. Uh, don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever a new video gets uploaded. Guys, this is the main circuit diagram of the whole experiment. This circuit diagram we will be using for the instrument. Uh, here we, we will use the 8038 IC chip. In the IC chip, uh, we will only connect pin number 2. So this will be our output port and we will connect it to the output terminals. Next, uh, pin number 3 and pin number 9 will be there with no connections. Also, we will uh, add, add a resistance at pin number 4 and pin number 5 and short it with pin number 6 and the whole thing will be added to a 12 volt positive terminal. Next, we will uh, short the pin number 7 and 8, pass it through a capacitors and then produce the, this will be our frequency generator and one side of the frequency generator will be connected to, uh, that is a positive end will be connected to the uh, capacitor and the negative end will be connected to the ground terminal also pin number 10 and pin number 11 will be grounded and pin number 10 will be grounded through a capacitor this is a small capacitors and the rest pins that is pin number 1 pin number 12 13 this will be as usual connections there will be no change in connections for these pins the exact diagram that is the basic diagram will be followed here so we will follow this circuit diagram and find our output through the output pin pin number 2 and remember there is no connection through uh, no resistance through pin number 6 only pin number 4 and pin number 5 have the resistance and all of them are connected to a positive plus 12 volt terminal and all these ground terminals means a negative voltage terminal is the negative 12 volt terminal maybe so the negative terminal will be uh, these pins will be grounded to that terminal is connected to that and this will be a whole circuit diagram next we will look into the connections and now let's look at the main connection part look here all the pins are connected as described before this is the pin number 2 and here it is the pin number uh, 10 11 that is grounded you can see 10 is grounded through a capacitor and I am holding the pin number 2 that is pin number 4 5 and 6 6 is there directly connected to the 12 volt and 4 and 5 through the resistors and the 12 volt is connected to the positive 12 volt terminal this is the positive 12 volt terminal uh, this, and there look this is the common terminal this is a ground terminal uh, this is a plus, uh, plus 12 volt terminal and the common terminal you can see it clearly which is the plus 12 volt and the common terminal this, this will also be provided to you in the trainer kit now the uh, common terminal is connected to another pin in the breadboard and all the uh, circuits are connected like all the ground terminals are connected to the uh, common terminal this is the this are the crocodile probes this is the output pin from pin number 2 from pin number 2 like we uh, common pin number 7 and pin number 8 and then pass through a small uh, capacitor pin number 7 pin number 8 common and pass through the capacitor now look uh, the capacitors one end is uh, connected to the uh, crocodile probes that is the function generator and this is the function generator which I am holding right now. Look, this is the function generator connected to the function generator. Where is that? Yeah. Here is it. Just look into the uh, function generator. It's, yeah, this is giving us a frequency of 6.579 uh, kilohertz. It is 6.579 kilohertz uh, frequency. This is providing us. And then this is the whole connections. We need another uh, pin from uh, another crocodile probe from uh, pin number 2 to the output that is um, connected from pin number 2. We connected this that is a positive terminal is connected to the pin number 2. And here I am showing you the pin number 10 and 11 thing. This is grounded also. Then pin number 2 is connected through the function generator the red probe is the positive probe uh, black probe is the negative probe and the whole thing is connected to the 
just look at the generated frequency this is a sine wave that is generated thank you hence the frequency modulator circuit is shown here that is the frequency is modulated over the